Hey there, how's it going? I have another video for you guys today all about presentation skills. So I'm going to take you through the steps and tips that you need to really create a great presentation. And it's going to help you um, prepare for your academic life, your classes, but also, um, you know, just for general public speaking skills. So I'll take you through how to make great slides, what you should put on your slides, how to do research, and then also just in terms of making eye contact and you know speaking clear and ways that you can actually be more engaged with the audience. All right, so let's get started. Presentation skills by speaking with Steph. Skill number one, prepare the content. This means that you need to do some research in the library or online with reputable and reliable websites, right? So make sure that you get the content from places that you trust. While you're doing your research, make sure to annotate the resources. What does annotate mean? It means take good notes about the sources, right? So make sure that you give credit to the authors during your presentation. So before your presentation, you need to make sure to write down who the author is, who the publisher is, and the year um, of the publication. This is really important. You should be able to give this information um, while you're actually giving your presentation. Skill number three, find high quality images. My recommendation is to go to this website called Unsplash. It has free um, images and there are no copyrights for this. So this is a really great website and you can search and find all kinds of topics. Skill number four, create a great slideshow. So this is so important. You really have to make sure that you create something that is interesting for the audience to look at and that doesn't make them feel like they're bored or uninterested in what you're talking about. The key here is that less is more. I know that's kind of confusing, but what I mean is that, you know, use less words and more images. So let me show you what I mean. Here's an example of a good slide. So if I was doing my presentation about Michelle Obama um, and her life after being first lady, I would make a slide like this, right? I would find a great image of her and then I would have bullet points like this memoir, right? So she wrote a book called Becoming that's all about her life. And now she also has a podcast. So she has a great interview place where she goes and interviews people in her life, her friends, her family, um, and celebrities. And finally, her activism. So this is part of her life after being a first lady. She is still active in politics. Okay, so I just gave you guys an example of what it would look like if I was um, creating an actual slide for a real presentation. Notice how I have few words on the slide and I make the words large and I make them in bullet points and then I speak the rest of what I want to say. Number five, rehearse speaking. So this means practice, right? Ask a friend if you can practice your um, speech or your presentation before you actually give it and ask them to give you some feedback, right? When they give you feedback, make sure that you use it and really try to make some changes to make your presentation better. Number six, fake it till you make it. Okay, so this means act it out, right? Pretend like you're an actor. Try to get out of yourself a little bit, out of your comfort zone, right? Try to feel like, okay, I'm not going to be myself today. I'm going to be someone who loves to give presentations. <laughs> Pretend like you're confident, right? You may not feel confident, but just try and, and fake it, right? Just try to pretend like you are. And you might surprise yourself. You might actually do an excellent presentation. And number seven, make eye contact. I know it's kind of hard because it's, you know, it's kind of nerve wracking. It makes you feel nervous, right? Um, but it's really important to look directly at your audience. So don't look too much at your slides, right? Sometimes people like will turn their head and look behind them. Um, this is not 
interesting for the audience, right? We want to see your eyes. We want to see you looking out at the audience. This will help us stay more focused. And school number eight, project your voice, right? So make your voice louder than you normally would. Um, but also, you know, speak loudly and clearly, right? So this is really important to um, practice your pronunciation. School number nine, tell a story or tell a joke, right? So um, a story is also, another way to say this is an anecdote. So an anecdote is like an example or some kind of um, personal experience that you have, um, or maybe the experience of someone you know or something in the news um, that really portrays what you're trying to talk about, right? So I think this is really engaging when you tell something that's personal or something that's really interesting, um, but it's kind of like a little story, right? Um, if you can be funny, that's awesome. I know not everybody can do this, and it's especially difficult when it's not your native language. Um, but, you know, try it out. Try to tell a joke. You know, you, you never know. It might work out. Um, some of the best presentations I've seen um, are the funny ones, you know. Um, of course, it depends on the topic. Not all presentations can, can have something funny because it won't be appropriate, right? So it just depends also on the topic. And number 10, try to have fun. I know that this is kind of scary, you know, to, to give presentations, but do your best to have a good time. Um, try to enjoy yourself and, you know, just keep thinking that, you know, every time you do this, you're going to get better. It's going to get easier next time, right? And thank you. And let me know if you guys have any questions. And this is my resource page. So like I said, I gave um, you that information about Unsplash. And I used all the images from this presentation from Unsplash. So that was a good example of that. All right, that's all for today with um, my presentation skills video. And I hope you guys learned something about giving great presentations. And let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.